girl brings me two E's back at the game with another mother loving big T O video way. Anyway, hey y'all, how y'all doing? I'm fine, thank you. Um, <laughs> this video is just gonna catch everybody up to speed. Um, I've been on YouTube for at least a year, it's been changed. Um, and I don't even know why or what happened. Main points in these videos are a life update. Hey, man, so. <laughs> Let's get into it. All right, my friends. So, all right. For anybody who don't, don't know, I now reside in Monroe, Riley, North Carolina. And I absolutely love it here um i've been here for about two months now and it's been it's been pretty great i'm not gonna hold you um i recently found out that i have a cousin who lives in the area as well jada shout out to you um she's a blast i have a, an amazing time every time i link up with jada okay and she's the only person that can get me out of my apartment <laughs> But there is just like so many things that I can like explore and do here in Raleigh and I really need to get out of the house. But anyway, so why Riley? All right, so I chose Riley and honestly, I've never even been here before. I just wanted to go to a place where I knew nobody. Like, I wanna know, I didn't wanna know anybody. Excuse my language. Oof, that English was terrible just now. But yeah, I wanted to move and I didn't want to have close proximity of anybody that I knew already. I wanted a new scenery, a new state, a new city, a new, 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 everything new. <laughs> so and that's why I chose here. Um, I also don't mind really settling in Raleigh. My, my family always joke about me moving every year. <laughs> but I'm not moving. I'm not moving no more for a little minute. Okay, I think. So boom, let me take you down the road of how I got here. So June of last year, I said I, I didn't want to live in South Carolina anymore. I was tired of it. I got too comfortable and I was just over it, right? Boom. Cool. So um, I said that and I really didn't think anything else of it. Come like August of 2020, I really did not like my job. I was working at T-Mobile and I was just over it. I didn't like it. It was not, not what I wanted. My favorite manager in the whole wide world left. Hey man, I'm talking about you. <laughs> Y'all, we are so good friends. Like, we still like this to this day. Anyways, so she left and in October, I decided that I wanted to do, get a new job. A preschool took a chance on me in Greenville. I love y'all. And I prayed for that job in October and I said I was gonna get a job before Thanksgiving. And I got the job a week, I believe, a week or a week before Thanksgiving. So shout out to God. Um like maybe April. Was it April? May March or April, I was just like, I wanna move to rally. I was originally gonna move to Greenville just cause I had a job there already and I was commuting from Greenwood to Greenville and it was just a bit much for me. But I was just thinking long-term and if I was to move, if I were to move to Greenville, it would've been a waste of time and no. So that's when I decided I wanted to move to Riley. And I, mind you, I made that decision in like early April and my lease was up in June. Yeah, April, May, June. <laughs> so I had three months to find an apartment, find a job, and go. So there's that. Shout out to my mom's alma mater. June, I found um, a job and I got the job. Same day I interviewed and thank you for it. I love it there. I learned so much things there. Like. The culture is just so different, you know what I'm saying? So that's something I absolutely enjoy. I absolutely love going to, to my job every single day. So I'm gonna be sad when it's my time to go. 
And those of you who do not know, I'm getting my master's in school counseling, so that's like the big, big goal. So yeah. Anyways, so another thing that I want to talk about with, you know, this whole uh, moving thing that nobody prepared, well, nobody prepared me for the emotional toll that it takes on you when you move out of your home state and move to a new state, new city where you know nobody. Granted, I know I said that's what I wanted. I wanted new, 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 new. Like nobody prepared me for your, for being alone. Nobody prepared me to be alone. Now that I think about it, I've never really been alone. You know what I mean? So even like when I was living in Greenwood, I still had my LSs who were, weren't too far away. Like, you know what I'm saying? I still had friends who were still in Greenwood that I could just hit up. Hey, what you doing this weekend? Da -da -da, let's go, da -da -da, whatever. So with that, this being my first real time going away and not having anybody around me that is it's very, very, very close to me that I can just lean on emotionally even when stuff is bothering me whatever the case may be it was just me you know what i'm saying so that in itself was a lot i had like a week before i went to work and in the course of that week i broke down i simply broke down <laughs> like everything that has that had been bothering me for the last six months just hit me like a ton of freaking bricks okay so i had to be broken down to be built up to where i am right now you know what i'm saying so i had to go through all the things that i went through to be the person that i am right now granted i still have a lot of healing to do still have a lot of work to do but from where i was to where i am now chef kiss baby <laughs> Like, I'm now in a space where I'm reflecting on the type of treatment I desire in a relationship, in a friendship, you know, anybody who's in my space, even from family, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I was brought up to, if I'm being honest, we see it not hurt, like, you know what I'm saying? So, with a lot of that, with that comes a lot of people pleasing, it comes a lot of not being yourself, it comes with a lot of conformity and so much to unpack like you know what I mean and being that I was broken down I had the time granted I'm I didn't get over it in a week but it was brought to my attention in that week span like when I first moved here I was very emotional like I cried every day for two weeks two weeks bro and it wasn't like a a breakdown breakdown cry well sometimes it was but every day it wasn't like that i was just so blown away to learn that i took so much for so long i was just so blown away that i was not being myself in any aspect of my life with anybody actually like maybe three people have seen the real me you know what I mean? Have seen me in every aspect. <laughs> so, with that being said, that really just hurt my own feelings. And I had to do a lot of self-healing, a lot of self-soothing. I'm still learning how to self-soothe as I go through things. So, and I feel like if I, if I never would have moved here, I never would have even been broken down to be where I am now. Yeah, I've learned so much about myself in the past two months that I've been here. Like, a lot. It's crazy. Like, when, when you're put into a place to be alone and you have no choice but to deal with your own stuff, you gotta handle it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta handle it. And, like, I require so much more than what I used to in my friendships and my relationships. Like, I hold them to the same standard. I'm not gonna hold you. I do. Because you're talking about these two these two groups of people that can you know either help you or hurt you so i take these things seriously now i may not have taken it seriously years years ago because i honestly didn't know what i required in relationships and friendships but where i am now we take those seriously honey <laughs> 
So with that, I have to kind of re reorganize my life. I've been in the process of reorganizing my life, reorganizing how much time I put into certain people, reorganizing how much time I spend with myself. You know what I'm saying? And not to be too guarded to where I can't let anybody else in. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's my struggle. I love y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Continue to be great and remember that you are loved. I'm out.